course, our previous album, Shadows of the Dying Sun, had been successful and took us to another level. But uh, when we started making this winter skate, we, we really wanted to do something different and also challenge ourselves and keep, it, keep things interesting for ourselves. So and we were mainly thinking about ourselves and not, not the fans or, or not the label or any, anyone else. Uh, and at that point, we didn't, uh, we did th didn't think about that how will people react. We just wanted to make something cool. And uh, our record company liked the idea. So we had the, their trust all the time, which is, of course, important. They didn't say that, guys, let's forget these stupid ideas. That let's do a normal album. But right from the start, they were really supportive. And they, they thought it was a really cool I idea to do something different. And uh, for sure, it's a very long track and some for sure, it's like too much for some people. You really need some time and you need to concentrate on it, listen it a couple of times before it starts opening up. So it's not music for the faint-hearted. And it's something that you really, uh, you really need time, time and the passion to get into it, I'm sure. But uh, we mainly did it to please ourselves. But still, I, I believe that most Insomnia fans will like it, for sure. It's not so much different than what we've done before. So I'm, I'm, I'm very confident that people are going like, to like the album. The story goes as far as like two or three years ago, we were having a rehearsal camp in the cabin in the woods in Finland. Sounds mysterious, but it's <laughs> the usual there. So we were having a late night beer and talk and music in front of the campfire with the boys. And we were speaking about the music and then we just came up with the idea that it would be great to do something else than the usual concept with bore, kind of boring song structure, normal song structures, and do this long kind of story, musical story, which gives you freedom to do whatever you like in, the, in one song, because in 40 minutes you can do lots of different things, otherwise it's going to be boring. So basically it's like a musical movie, and you can have different kind of drama in the song as long as that. And Basically, to be honest, we were listening Crimson by Edge of Sanity <laughs> in the campfire, which is a 40-minute song from the 90s, and we were huge Edge of Sanity fans back then, and especially me, have, I've been always a fan of like Iron Maiden since I was a little kid, and I always liked these longer songs more, like Rime of the Ancient Mariner, and because the scale is larger, the story is longer, and I like it epic. So this is basically some teenage nostalgia in a bit, in a 90s way. And maybe at the same time, it's also some kind of sentence to modern generations, Spotify and iTunes, YouTube thing, because it seems that not so many teenagers have any more this urge to listen music really like deeply. Like back in when I was a kid, I got one cassette and it was the one cassette and I listened to it on and on and on, millions of hours and dig everything out, out there. So it's towards that disposable music thing also at the moment. And we wanted to do a one track and you have to listen one track. It's 40 minutes. But unfortunately, we a little bit failed because iTunes have standards. So we had to cut it for a few different tracks. We would want it to, it to be only one track, 40 minutes, so you can skip anything. So yeah. that's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> At first bite, for me, my opinion was that it's more brutal than stuff we've done before. And there's more like brutal metal and it's faster. There's black metal. Some 
rough stuff we've never done it before and maybe that's new for insomnium but there's that till that good old insomnium vibe in the whole song that the trademark vibe which you can hear easily but there's lots of different kind of stuff like black metal doom metal prog rock even my favorite part is maybe in the middle where is this prog rock part and i have some dire straits mark knopfler like guitar solo which turns immediately into the stockholm death metal sound with really heavy guitar sound and it's like you cannot do that is the first thought but why not it's working <laughs> Dan Swano is an old friend of mine and we've been working together almost 10 years with my another band Omnium Gatherum. He's been doing a really good job on mixing the albums for OG and then, like I mentioned, a huge inspiration for this Winter Skate was Crimson by Edge of Sanity and Dan Swano is the singer of Edge of Sanity so this is kind of a tribute also to that in our artistic side. So. Swan was the first option to mix Winter's Gate and gladly we got him on board. It's always fun to work with him as we have shared the same sense of humor and same musical taste and same kind of work ethic so it's really easy to work with Dan. So we have a tour coming in Europe in, in January and we have three shows in the UK. So I think it was Birmingham and Manchester and London, if I remember right. And uh, let's hope we can get some more UK shows for the next summer. Doing some festivals there would be cool. Like previously we've been to Bloodstock and download really cool festivals. and. Let's hope we can visit those again. And, and there's a lot of more shows coming for next year. So I'm pretty sure we come to UK like uh, on a regular basis.